Morning, everybody. Come on. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't turn doorknobs, so. <laughs> hey. Uh, where's it? There we go. God bless America. So, we're going to go out in the shop here for a minute. Turn on some lights. There we go. I'm going to go put Easton in this pen, and then I'll be back there with you here in just a minute. Well, I haven't really been out here very much in the shop and uh, looked at the bike. Um, the last video that I posted of putting the tire on and stuff, that kind of that kind of jogged my memory of everything before my mishap. Um, So I figured I'd show you all the bike. Uh, here's one of the things that that came off my turn signal lens on the uh, left front, which is the side that I evidently laid down on. And uh, This is a piece of my hand grip cover that kept the cold air off of my uh, hands when I was riding in cold weather. So eventually I'll, uh, I guess I'll have to get a new pair of those. And I got those off of uh, J&P Cycles, which really work great. And uh, yeah, there's really, The pipes look really good. I didn't I didn't do too bad of a job on them pipes. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's some scratches on the fairing and uh And then my control knob for my heated grips broke off. We don't know where that is. And uh, scratches, of course, on the side bag deal there. And my hinges. On my, looks like my trunk is cracked. I just noticed that, which, uh, it's making me, <laughs> I think it still opens. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna have to have assistance with that, I'm sure. But this here, I don't know what to do about that. I could probably get it repaired or get a new one eventually. And my clutch lever's bent, which that could be, uh, I do have replacements coming for that. So there it is. Uh, I just had the uh, hospital call me for the uh, surgery Tuesday morning on this wrist. Uh, they're gonna put a plate and screws in it. Titanium, you know? So, and I believe it's gonna be on the top part. The two nubs that you have on top of your wrist on each side. I think that's what's gonna be 
Miss Linda looked up some pictures of that type of plate, you know, so, um, you know, when you sit, when you have all this time to sit and think, you think about, man, there's a lot of things that go through your mind and, um, uh, yeah, I know everybody says think positive and this and that and, um, whatnot and and it's just uh it's easy to say but it's hard to do it's really hard to do but all i can do try to do is to look forward to the future and future travels and um stay as healthy as i can No, there's not a ghost in here. The door just kind of blew open a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, uh, Miss Linda and I came out here last night. And we left the, the back sliding door open, unlocked, so I could get in and out if I wanted to come out here. But everybody, please comment down below. Uh, Give kudos to Miss Linda because she has been a, she has been such a sweet angel. I didn't um, I don't know where I would be right now if it wasn't for her. But I kept apologizing to her yesterday, and I think I was apologizing to her the day before, you know, and calling her an angel and. Uh, um, I haven't been, I've been all right, you know, as far as my attitude, you know, when she comes home and stuff. I've actually binge watched the series 1883 and man, I, I watched the whole series yesterday. So I guess there's another series called 1928 and that's probably the next series after the 1883 I guess these are spinoffs of uh, the show Yellowstone. And my gosh, I think I got it hard. Them people moving across the prairies, they had it a hundred times worse as far as, you know, going across the rivers and across the plains and the, the wars and the uh, fighting over food and just it, it it was a wonderful wonderful series to watch <clears throat> and I think I got a little emotional a few times because uh, uh, the one of the main characters I think her name was Elsie or something like that was writing a Palomino And I told Miss Linda, I says, he's, he had a, a face just like Tucker did. I mean, he's a little bit bigger horse, but he's, his, his blaze on his nose, you know, on his forehead, all the way down to his nose was about the same thing. Um, yeah. Whew. Anyway, well, Easton's out here in his pen, and I sure hope he hasn't rolled in, in anything. <laughs> He has a habit of uh, rubbing his face and he'll have, I don't know what it is, on his neck or something like that. And then Miss Linda will have to wipe it out. So, uh, yeah, so we've just been hanging out. Um, but, yeah, that, I'm sorry if I'm going in circles, but that horse was... My, my Tucker was something else, you know. Uh, so. Well, I hope everybody's going to have a good day today. And I'm sorry about, you know, the content. And uh, if you're a recent subscriber, give the... Uh, I appreciate you for coming in on this journey. I'm um, having surgery on this hand, wrist, 
Tuesday morning. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm a boxer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's my thumbnail, right? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So, anyway, um, if you're a recent subscriber, you know, and you have some extra time to kill, go back and look at my other videos from like our trip out west the last couple of years. Uh, we had planned on going to Florida for two weeks. And I, uh, I feel bad that uh, we won't be able to take that trip this year because uh, Miss Linda just loves Florida. So um, don't know what next year is going to involve. Um, don't know what my doctor bills are going to be like or what my insurance and disability and all that just stuff's going to pay yet. Um, Things are gonna be tight for a while. I know that because I have to pay my my premiums for my insurance while I'm on disability. I'll have an invoice at the end of the month, I'm sure. So I'm not looking forward to that. But I guess uh, I guess I'll let you go. Uh, oh. The ch I gotta show you the chicks. <laughs> They're getting big. Miss Linda said one of them's been sitting on top of the water. Hang on, I'll show you the chicks. <laughs> what are you doing, chicky chicks? Oh my gosh, they have been sitting on top of the water. They're getting big. You guys are getting big. Yeah, you are. How are ya? Boy, they're really starting to feather out. Look at that. Oh, that was a big poop over there. <laughs> yeah, they're feathering out. They're they're growing. Uh, we've got some chicken wire out at the uh, out at the uh, chicken out in the chicken house. We're gonna have to. Uh, drag over here this weekend and cover it up let them get some air so oh my goodness there we go sorry about that about dropped you but anyway uh give the video a thumbs up i know this is probably going to be most of my content for a while and uh You know, it really, uh, it's really uh, kind of hard because, you know, I'm not viral. It's no big deal. I mean, I do this for, for you all and to possibly give my grandchildren something to look back on, you know, uh, And, uh, you know, so anyway, I'll just leave it at that. <sighs> I guess I'll go into the house here and, and, uh, give me something to eat. Maybe. I don't know. I do have some frozen burritos and Miss Linda put a towel around the handle of the microwave so I could, I could grab the towel with either my teeth or, you know, yank it open. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. I hope you all are having a good day. Say hi to a stranger and uh, thank a veteran. Shake his hand and uh, strike off a conversation with somebody. Uh, they might make your day and you might make their day. So y'all have a good day and God bless. Okay. Love y'all. Say bye.